can't thank you enough for everything you've done. It's been such a difficult time with personal attacks and threats to the family and everything. It's been great to have friends. We love you. <laughs> I love you. Now, if you can't sleep, at least relax, you know, <clears throat> meditate, throw darts at Spencer's image. Right. She will sleep. Well, come on. I gotta get my briefcase. Good night, everybody. Good night. Thank you. Good night. I'll be back at 8. All right. You make sure and call me if anything comes up. Thanks, I will. And you too, sweetie. You need some rest, too. Not until you tell me what you didn't tell, Cass. Yeah, but you, you can tell that, uh, you can tell Miley that Vicky's hanging on. Yeah. Uh, no, Bridget. Yeah, goodbye. Can you believe that dog got himself across the border? What, Ian's out of Canada? A man fitting his description rented a fishing boat in Thunder Bay. The boat ended up in Marquette. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Ian wouldn't leave Canada while Carl's still here, and Carl's not going to leave Canada until he's drained every last drop of drama out of Vicky's injury. Maybe Carl sent him on an errand. Yeah, well, he doesn't work for Carl. Wait, I thought you said they were connected. Yeah, well, they are, but not in the way that you think. You see, Ian wants something from Carl, a key. What for, I don't know. He told you this? No, he told Vicky and he told Maggie Corey, but... It's a long story. In any event, he tracked Carl all the way up to Canada, all the way to the cave. You're saying he had nothing to do with that kidnapping last February? Yeah, what he told me, and to tell you the truth, Cap, I believe him. Well, I mean, what's he doing? Marquette. It's directly en route to Bay City. See, but that doesn't make any sense either, Captain. I mean, he's already, he's already searched my place. He went through Carl's place. He went through the Corey's place, and he came up empty. So why in the hell is he going back to Bay City? Who knows? I, maybe it wasn't him in Thunder Bay. Maybe he's downstairs having a cup of coffee. Yeah, well, listen, I'd like to help you search him out. <laughs> well, damn it, let's go. No, I, I've got something to take care of. Look, Cap, while you were gone, I, uh, I made up my mind. I'm gonna tell Vicky exactly how I feel because I want her back. After that, it's up to her. about this declaration from his little brother? Oh, yeah. He's actually convinced he's gonna win. Is that what it's about? No. Well, hope it works out for you. Hey, listen, now that I've um, made up my mind as to what I'm gonna do, can I be a cop again? <laughs> I thought you just yeah, said Yeah, I you know were what I just said. I I'm not gonna tell Vicky exactly how I feel until she's completely recovered, and that could take a couple weeks. More than enough time for me to catch Ian Rain. You know, I hope we catch him sooner than that, or else the chief is going to want to have your badge forever. Well, I kid you not. You let me take care of the chief. I'll remember that. Yeah. All you want, Billy? Two or three or, or four, four or five. Hey, yeah. who's counting, right? <laughs> so, um, it's my idea that uh, Carl stole the key. You think he's still here in Banff? Yeah, I talked to him what, a few days ago. Let's go. No, um, listen, I got one more thing to do. Look, I don't, I don't want to hear. No, it. I gotta let Vicky know that I'm going. I gotta get out of here. Uh, I, and I'll, I'll meet you there, I'm sure. I'll be right down in the lobby. We'll see. No, I, I, I swear, the, the doctors are gonna be coming here any minute and uh, tell me that it's okay to see her. I believe you. Oh, uh, listen, nurse. Um, do you know where I can get in touch with Dr. Trevelyan? Yeah, he's with the patient. Can I help you? Uh, no, it's okay. I'll, I'll uh, just, I'll wait here. Why I'm bothering to bring this home? I'm just gonna have. What is it? That feeling again? Something is going to happen. Yeah, and it's gonna happen tomorrow at that stockholders meeting. Whatever it is, I can't quite reach it. It's just beyond my fingertips. Well, let's go home and go to bed. Are we tired? We are way past tired, so you just forget about it. You understand? Maybe I'm being rash. I think you are. Okay. Tim Conklin is flying in from Amsterdam? Yes, he's very angry at Spencer. As well he should be. So you can tell me? It's nothing, really. Do you know what tomorrow is? I assume you're not talking about the board meeting. It's the day we celebrated our anniversary. Remember how much fun it was? 
Mac would involve all you kids, and he'd go racing around the house full of plans and enthusiasm and confidence. <laughs> but he was always like that, wasn't he? He always made us all feel so safe. You don't feel safe anymore? What if I fail? What if I lose the company? Well, uh, then we'll deal with it. But I don't think that's going to happen. I think you're going to go in there tomorrow, you're going to rally the troops, and they'll back you. And if I don't, if Jake and Spencer take over, what's going to happen to everyone? Paulina, Amanda, Ali, Jamie, Stephen, all the people in this company, we know them. We know all of them, and their families are part of this community. Mac actually thought I could do this, you know? He trusted me. You got to trust him. It's going to work out. Listen, we're... We're in the middle of it right now. We're not at the end. It's always hell being in the middle of it. How'd you get so smart? Watching my mom. Oh. Now listen, I don't want you to worry. You did everything you could today. Tomorrow you'll get another chance. I wish Matt could see you right now. He'd be so proud of you. I noticed I'm the only one you're not worried about. You're right about that. You know, of all of my kids, you're the one who's most like Mac. Isn't that strange? I guess it's because he raised you, and you were smart enough to emulate him. Thanks. Hey, you go home and get some rest. I understand you have a television station to run. All that. Oh, yeah, that, you little mogul. Okay. You gonna be okay? Yeah. I'm gonna stay here for a bit. Try to soak up the famous Mackenzie Corey confidence. I'm gonna need it for a moment. Tired? You got a story for me? Well, not a story so much as a responsibility to my father. That's what this is all about. I thought you said your father was dead. That doesn't matter. I made a promise to my father. And I made a promise to myself that I would solve the mystery of his death. That's two promises. Two promises that I'm going to keep. Even if it means breaking the law. I'm not a criminal. Vicky could have died, Ian. I'm telling you, I had nothing to do with her being shot. If you hadn't taken her to the cave, she never would have been shot. No, she went. It's a long story. I was about to let her go, and then her husband came in with the police. The newscast said that Grant was aiming at you and that Vicky somehow got in the way. That's possible. I, I didn't see him shoot somewhere. Is that how you got hurt? No, this, this happened at the docks. Look, it, it doesn't matter. You say it doesn't matter. Rachel respected you and you lied to her. You lied to all of us. And now, you've got everyone from the FBI to Interpol looking for you. You're hurt, you're running. Look, you don't understand. No, I don't, and I really don't care. I need you. I need you, too. You don't know my father. I'm so close, Paulina. Carl Hutchins has the answer, I know he does. Carl Hutchins? You mean the rumor is true? That's why I'm here. Hutchins, this is a base city. Paulina? Please. Please don't tell her I'm here. Don't you do it to me again. My life depends on your silence. Please. Please. Paulina? Yeah? Is someone else here? I heard voices. That was just, uh, me banging at the moon. Are you all right? No, man, I'm not all right. I don't think I'm ever going to be all right again. Look, that's just tonight. And tomorrow, well, it might be worse, but look, in a month or two, what you did was so brave. It's going to help you in the end that you stood up for yourself, believe me. to work. I know. I wanted the things he kept saying. I wanted the babies and the life together. I wanted it so badly that I couldn't see what he was doing. How could I be so stupid? Why are you blaming yourself for, for trusting him? Jake is a liar. 
What is it? I have to get away from here. Let's go back inside. No, you don't understand. I have to get far away. I have to get away from Jake. And just please help me. I gotta get I, out of I, here. I understand. 